A career in personal training had never really occurred to me when I was growing up. My dream after completing my sports technology degree was to be designing football boots for Adidas. But unfortunately, that's not how the real world works. It came as a shock to me that after nine months of searching, I'd found only two jobs available. And after two unsuccessful interviews, I began to realize it may never happen. I ended up laboring for a local gardening company in the day while still searching for my perfect role. I remember it vividly. It was a freezing November day and I was dropped off at a job given a steel bar and a pickaxe and told to break out some concrete blocks. The tools were so cold they were freezing to my hands. That was the day I knew something had to change. It was my mum who showed me an article on personal training in a magazine. I'd always enjoyed sports and exercise and thought it could be a great way to build a career using the knowledge and passion I had. FutureFit appealed to me because their courses were well respected, comprehensive and the flexibility of blended learning really suited me. The live workshops supplemented the existing knowledge I'd gained from my degree and gave me the practical skills I needed to be a personal trainer. However, before I managed to get my first client, I spent four months delivering leaflets for eight hours a day with no guarantee of it working out. I knew I couldn't go back to labouring, so I had to make it work. Fast forward five years and I was running a successful personal training company with a team of trainers working for me, a full client book and an ongoing waiting list. This was my original goal, but now I was ready for a new challenge. I'd been working with a local rugby team on their strength and conditioning when it dawned on me just how much I'd missed that team environment and thought that others must feel the same. The players had achieved some great results and I thought that if I could combine the team s environment with a personal training level of service, I might be onto a winner. From the start, I wanted it to be more than just a fitness company. I wanted to build a brand, I wanted to build a community and I wanted to make a real difference. The end result was Man Alive, a group fitness and nutrition program for guys 30 plus who don't enjoy the traditional gym environment. On the first night, we had 15 guys signed up to start and I remember thinking to myself, what would be worse, if no one turned up or if like two guys turned up? In the end, we had 12 guys turn up and from there, we've grown to 200 members across two sites, an online program, merchandise, and we are now venturing into the world of corporate wellness. Getting to this point hasn't been easy. There's been lots of ups and downs and times where I've really had to dig deep, not just for me, but for all the members, the coaches and the family who now rely on me. That being said, knowing I'm in control of my own destiny and building something bigger than myself only motivates me more when things get tough. But if it was easy, everyone would do it. Thank you.